Good morning, guys. <laughs> the kids this morning. Gosh, I feel very productive today. I've already like cleaned a little bit, made sure I'm staying on top of the dishes. I'm feeling so good. Like the, the kids had waffle, eggs, and toast, which is putting an egg in the baby dash with some toast. I put some cream cheese on there. Um, it's very similar to like the farmhouse style sandwich from Caribou, if you've ever had that. Super good, except it's toast instead of a bagel. I'm out of breath because my children are being insane and they're running everywhere. Oh. Today we are going plant shopping because I have the itch to get my plants back in shape in the house. I just brought a bunch of them up here. I've been opening my blinds more to give them more sun and I am craving a couple of new plants. So I'm gonna take you locally to where I live so that if you guys are local to me, you can check out some of the places that I'm going to. I'm also going to be checking out a couple of the national chain stores so that if you are not local to me, you will hopefully still have a few of these stores in your area. And so yeah, this is gonna be a plant haul and plant shop with me video and a day in the life of a mom. And if you want to see like my spring decorating video, which a lot of these plants will be included in the spring decorating video because plants are a part of my spring decor. Um, I bring them all out onto the main floor again instead of like shoving them into rooms, etc. So, so if you guys want to stay tuned for my spring decorate and clean with me series, that will be over on my at home with Morgan channel. Here's a peep to one of the new plants I just got. There we go, the lighting had to adjust. This is my new ZZ plant. I just got her for Valentine's Day. Mike surprised me with her and I am in love. So anyways, I'm gonna go plant shopping and then I'm going to run through some of like the plant care tips and tricks that I've learned. I'm not an expert by any means. So if you guys have tips as well, leave it in the comments down below for any of my plants and all of the things. Okay, let's go get some green in our life. Can you tell by how red my cheeks are that I am overwhelmed? I just spent an hour in that plant store. So I wanted to take you guys out and bring you along with me, but it was, oh my God, it was, it was so overwhelming. Um, at first, like when I first walked in, I was gonna bring Riker's stroller in, but I saw they had parts and um, so say at carts, I didn't bring the stroller in. And then I get in there and I realize, crap, like the carts they have don't actually have like seats in them. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna make this, make this a quick trip and like run really fast in and out. I know exactly what I want. Um, and then they didn't have exactly what I wanted. They're this beautiful bird of paradise. Um, it was smaller, it was like 70 bucks, 65, 70 bucks, something like that. But it was smaller. And I was like, okay, I'm not sure, like not entirely sure. I wanted something a little bit taller, um, but this is the best indoor plant store that we have in town. This is Baker's, if you guys are local to um, Fargo-Moorhead area. So anyway, I'm like walking around with Riker and um, he's like getting into everything, right? I'm like trying to hold him and he's wiggling out of my arms and um, I'm like trying to make a decision on this plant. I have a worker helping me. And finally she's like, you know, we have a cart in the back that has um, like a um, like a spot for him to sit in. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, thank you so much. Like I, I will take it. I'm like running after a two year old is no joke, you guys, especially in a store that you don't want them to touch things. So I put him in the cart and started looking around. Um, in the meantime, he had knocked over a prickly pear cactus. And if you guys are not familiar with prickly pears, they have these like little spinies that literally get everywhere. Um, they're the worst for like uh, all over. I don't even know if I can show you guys. They're just like these little orange hairs that get into your skin. It's like, I wonder if I can show you guys that this redness is like all where the prickles are, but I have a ton of them. So teeny tiny little prickly pear like things stuck in my hand um, from Riker knocking it over on me. I'm just, I mean, I'm just glad that it didn't get on him. Um, oh my gosh, I'm just, I don't know how to get these out. I'm gonna have to Google how to get these out because this is not working. So my hands are covered, I am sweating and I finally found a plant. I walked out of there with nothing that I walked in there to get. Spent like over $100, but I did get a few really nice house plants 
and I'm sweaty. I am so sweaty. All right, so I just got back. This is the plant that Mike got me. Sorry, I'm like heating up my lunch right now. Which P.S. is a keto white like chili. Um, has ground beef in it instead of um, shredded chicken and I did add a little bit more chili powder so it's a little red. But I'll be sharing this recipe on my um, keto crock pot family friendly dinner recipes video. But this is the ZZ plant that Mike got me for Valentine's Day and it's so beautiful and holy moly did he splurge because this plant is <laughs> a little expensive. Um, and this pot is beautiful. I'm obsessed with it, obsessed with it. I want all of these, like more modular shaped um, circle ones. I want all of them in my house. Okay, so this is my plant haul for the day. I spent like $100, but I feel like I got some really healthy, good plants. Like I said, I love to support small businesses and they potted these for me and gave me so much like care tips and tricks and everything like that. So I'm very, very happy with going to Baker's in um, Fargo. I love it, love it. So anyways, I got this prickly pear um, and this is the one that got me real good. I don't know, I like to like name my plants. I don't know if this is a boy or girl yet, we'll have to see. Um, and then I got this guy. Um, again, I am not a plant expert. I love plants, I'm a plant enthusiast, I would say. I don't necessarily know what I'm doing. Um, but I would love to get this guy to grow nice and big and tall one day. So hopefully I don't kill it so that he can last a long time in my house because they had one that was literally like eight feet tall. And I think that one, that guy was like $300, I believe. So, and this was like $8. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm really hoping to get him nice and big. Same with this one. I love, love these cacti. Um, now, this is a pothos plant, um, and this one's more of like a drapey. So, um, you guys will be seeing in my spring decorate with me, but um, a lot of these, okay, are going to be going up here. Our main floor is really great for... Um, plants because it's like indirect sunlight everywhere, but it's very very bright and airy um, So up here we're going to have a floating shelf instead of the gather sign with a bunch of plants And I want to have a couple of pothos on either end of it um, Up here so that they're just kind of like draping into the sink like around here um, I think having like a little jungle would be so fun so anyway, um, and then I got this really cool um, pot for it. This one for sure is gonna be going above the sink, um, and then these two. So I'm trying to do more like um, these tones up here, trying to give it like some dimension. This is gonna be white shiplap. So I wanna do some terracotta and some different textures, etc., up here to kind of give it just like a little extra oomph. So again, this guy and these two are gonna be going up on that um, shelf and we're gonna be staining it um, a driftwood color, so really light driftwood color um, to match our shelving and things like that. So I think that should pull together really nicely. I'll probably play around with it once I get them up there. But um, And then I also found, so if I move this box, um, this is the big version and this is the medium version of this pot. I guess Mike got the last big one. Um, so I grabbed a medium sized one for this guy. I cannot remember for the life of me what he is called. Um, but I think this one is going to go up here on this shelf um, because it needs a little height in that corner. So that is where he's gonna go. But I, again, will share all of this in a decorate with me, clean and decorate with me spring decorate and clean with me. That video will be launching um, very early in March. So stay tuned for over on my At Home With Morgan channel. If you guys have not checked out my At Home With Morgan channel, I will leave a link down below for you guys in the description box. So anyways, stay tuned for all of the plant and spring goodness. I am loving these so much. I'm so excited to get these up and get some more green in my house.
All right, so that is what I found at Hobby Lobby and Home Depot in my local nursery as far as plants. Um, one of my other favorite places to shop for plants online. I actually really like Lowe's. I've gotten a lot of my plants from Lowe's and Home Depot online. Um, for example, my Lowe's um, did have fiddle figs in stock in the store. I did not make it over there, but they're fairly affordable. And I do have one right behind me that I believe I got from Lowe's or Home Depot online. I can't remember. Um, but I believe it was Home Depot actually, but super affordable online. They come very well packaged. My advice to you is just to make sure if you live in a colder area that you order them when it's maybe not into the freezing temperatures. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe they package them so that they can like survive those temperatures, but I just don't trust them. I don't know. I don't know, but um, I've had a lot of luck with online plant shopping from Home Depot and Lowe's, so I do highly recommend them. Um, my fiddle fig was like $25. I believe I got a Monstera plant for like $20, $25 on there as well. Um, so I will leave some links down below for you guys if you want to do some online plant shopping. Home Depot's cactus and like their cacti and succulent selection was incredible they were actually just stocking them when i showed up so the workers were kind of like working around me filming but honestly i was really blown away by some of their cacti options um and how cheap they were um there were a couple of them specifically that i like really really wanted to get but I didn't want to overdo it on the plants until I have my plant shelf up. So I did grab a couple of pothos, additional pothos from Home Depot. Um, and I do have them here now. The health of them is pretty good. I would say the health of the pothos that I got from my local um, like gift plant and gift store um, is in much better health. Again, I do support the local stores over the big brand name like chain stores. But um, if you guys just don't have access to something like that in your area, you're from a small town, etc., cetera, um, ordering plants online can definitely be beneficial. And the health of mine, like I said, has been really good. Um, now in regards to plant tips and tricks, I wanted to go over really quick and I am like just a beginner. I'm like, again, I'm not an expert, I'm not claiming, claiming to be, um, but something that I've found that really helps me stay on schedule as far as like watering and fertilizing and like making sure each of them is having the right amount of sunlight when I'm like just starting out and trying to learn each plant um, is I will write out a list in a notebook and write out which ones get watered once a week, which ones get watered once a month, you know, once every other week. And that way I can kind of write out a watering schedule. I try to water my plants every Sunday. That is always my goal. Um, and I do check the moisture levels. A lot of the plants that I have aren't super needy um, and you'll find conflicting information on things too so for example my fiddle fig people say to water those about once a week but I've found that mine <laughs> I I she is a very fiddle pigs are very difficult and I don't know how on earth I've kept mine alive for a year especially like since I've moved her from my bedroom um, downstairs and some people theirs die with like from moving it a foot to the left or right. So I don't know how she's still doing well, but she did drop a few leaves when I moved her from upstairs to down here. Down here actually gets way better light and the draft from the window is not as bad. Um, but if I water her once a week, she will start to turn, her leaves will start to turn a little brown. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to name her Linda. I don't know why, but I always Lynn name my plants. I said that earlier, but I kind of want to name her Linda. So anyway, I don't know. Just like, I get like a feeling like that's what I should name my plants and she might be a Linda. So anyways, um, my fiddle fig, one of the biggest things that I've learned is to not touch them, not move them. I moved her once this year and um, I just made that it would made sure that it was a better spot for her. Um, I found a tip to um, oil the leaves only on the top because if you do it on the bottom, it can mess with like the photosynthesis. Um, and I do not water her once a week. I don't do it. I let her dry out completely 
between watering and that goes for most house plants that's something that i learned when i was at baker's nursery is that most of your house plants can go um, a couple of weeks between watering you want to make sure that they dry out completely you do not want to overwater your house plants um, there might be exceptions to this rule but this was just a general rule that i was given um, as far as like plant care and these people at baker's are like very very passionate about their jobs and i trust them very deeply with like all of the plant tips and tricks because they are amazing at what they do. So anyway, um, I've been letting my fiddle fig now. She's gonna dry out. I watered her and I think it was even too soon because she, one of her leaves started to turn brown. Like I said, I moved her about a month ago right after Valentine's Day. Um, I, not a month ago, what was it like two, three weeks ago? I have no concept of time lately. Anyway, um, but as soon as I moved her, she lost two leaves, but then um, now she has like three um, new baby leaves growing in, so she has new growth, which tells me that she's doing well, um, just uh, maybe throwing a little bit of a fit because she was moved. So that is my advice in regards to the fiddle fig is like plenty of bright sunlight i do not have any direct sunlight in my house which is awesome for plants and i have a lot of like um light that's bouncing off the walls because my space is very white and light and bright and airy um so in the my zz plant same thing my biggest advice is to get a moisture meter um, especially if you have got more like cacti and succulus type plants because they are going to tell you when they need to be watered um because it's harder to tell when they need to be watered um, because you do need to let them dry out. So make sure you get a moisture meter. My ZZ plant, uh, Mike, when he went and got it for me for Valentine's Day, the um, individual at uh, Baker's Nursery explained that with that kind of plant, you want to make sure that the dirt is kind of like pulling away um, and forming before you water it, which to me is like super dry, but he said, that those ZZ plants are very hard to kill, which makes me feel better because I'm so scared to kill my plants and I'm not super great at taking care of them. I'm trying harder. I got a plant fertilizer, which you fertilize most of your house plants during like the flowering season. So think of like spring and summer, even if they're not a flowering house plant, think like spring and summer months, about like once a month or once every couple of weeks, you wanna give them a good fertilization. Fiddle figs have a specific fertilizer succulents and cacti have a specific fertilizer the rest of my plants my pothos my corn plant and my zizi plant and the monstera can have general like house plant uh, food like fertilizer so that's what i plan to do for those let's hope i can keep them alive um, and then the ones that get water the least i would say are definitely my cacti um, the oh gosh it's like san juan or san pedro uh, something something um, that little guy up there with just like the little the boop 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 that look like the little things like little pokemon guys i don't know um the little worm if you guys know what i'm talking about leave it in the comments below i am a nerd okay i was totally into pokemon when i was um younger like super into them so anyway um that's what those guys look like to me but that one is going to be they can grow three to four feet a year in um like prime conditions i don't know if i'm going to have prime conditions but i'm trying to grow that little guy as much as i can and eventually plan to repot him when he grows a little bit bigger there's like three of them so i don't know are they all boys i don't know i don't know why i give my plants names and like these personalities but i do um Anyway, that one is the one that I'm going to be watering the least. Like some say once every couple of months, give them like 10 ounces of water and that is it. So we'll see how I do with that. Um, anyway, okay. I'm going to end the video there for today. I hope you enjoyed this like plant shop with me, this plant haul for spring and spring decor, the th all the things. I, again, don't really know what I'm doing 100%, but this is like my version of decorating. Also, I get a lot of questions on this guy that's hanging. That one is fake. That one's fake. It's from Target. Um, and I think I got it for like $12.99 a couple of months ago. And it was still winter when I got that one but I knew that it was going to be beautiful for the spring and I'm loving the like waterfall effect that it's giving and all the greens and all the things. So anyways, guys, I will be back on Monday for that keto recipe 
video. I know that you guys have been so patient and you've been waiting for that video for so long. So stay tuned for that coming out on Monday. And then I do launch my spring decorating and cleaning series over on my At Home With Morgan channel on Monday as well. So stay tuned. I quite literally have all of the nitty gritties planned for you, all of those places that you tend to forget when you're cleaning like throughout the year, just those places that need extra attention at least once a year. I've got you covered. I've got all of the tips and tricks. So I will see you on Monday on both of my channels for some really fun videos. Okay, bye guys.